What's up everyone, my name's James and welcome to my YouTube channel. With the weather getting warmer, it's time to start thinking about wearing t-shirts again, not only as layering pieces, but as a main piece in an outfit. With so many variations available, I thought I'd give a rundown of the best ones to look out for this spring and summer. And there's one or two unique variations which you might not have considered, so stick around to see what they are. For reference, I'm 5 foot 10 and around 140 pounds. I'll be wearing every t-shirt in a white size medium, with the same trousers and shoes to keep everything consistent. This way you can focus on just the t-shirts and properly see the differences between each one. I'll show each t-shirt tucked and untucked and I'll include the sleeve length, pit to pit and shoulder to hem measurements so you can properly get an idea of the sizing. This isn't a sponsored video but I ended up picking up all the t-shirts from H&M and Weekday. I picked those two stores because they had a lot of variation and they also had the best prices and best availability in case you want to pick these up as well. Links to all the items I'm wearing will be down in the description, let's go. So the first t-shirt is a slim fitting t-shirt. The slim t-shirt is something I haven't given a lot of love to over the years but I'm starting to appreciate them more and more these days. As the slim fit name suggests, everything's going to be a little bit closer to your body. So the sleeves are short and snug and the body is also a little bit shorter in length. This makes slim t-shirts one of the best for layering. They're great for tucking in and wearing underneath sweaters or hoodies because they're not going to bunch up. Slim tees are also a great style contrast if you want to wear baggier trousers. This silhouette is very popular at the moment and something which I'm getting more and more into. The t-shirt I'm wearing here is from H&M's Premium Range. What makes it premium is that it's made from a Pima cotton. Pima cotton is far superior to normal cotton. It has longer fibres which make it really soft and really breathable. These longer fibres are also going to make it resistant to pilling which means your garments are going to look better for longer. You can definitely tell the difference in quality and it's something I noticed in me immediately when I put the t-shirt on. Considering how affordable it is, I'd say this is a great piece for summer. But if you want an alternative, Uniqlo also do a really nice slim fitting t-shirt which is a little bit more heavyweight if that's what you're into. Next up is just a regular standard fit t-shirt. In terms of sizing, this is just going to be a little bit looser and longer everywhere compared to the slim fit t-shirt. If I'm honest, this is my least favourite fitting t-shirt. Because it is such a standard fit, nothing really stands out about it. So I think it makes me look a little bit shapeless and uninspired. Unlike the slim fitting t-shirt or some of the other t-shirts which I'm going to show you which have very intentional designs, the standard fitting t-shirt is just a little bit boring. Unfortunately, a lot of brands seem to go for the standard fitting t-shirt. I guess that's because it's so middle of the road, it's not going to be very polarising, so it's going to please more people. But what I find is that they all start to look a little bit the same, unless they have a really unique graphic that stands out. The t-shirt I'm wearing here is from Weekday. It's really lightweight and actually it's a little bit see-through in some lights, so keep that in mind. The only time I'd really recommend a regular fitting t-shirt is if you have a bigger frame and the slim fitting t-shirt is too small for you. Then a regular fitting t-shirt would fit you like a slim fitting t-shirt and it would look good. Okay next up are relaxed fitting t-shirts. Now these are perfect if you want to start messing around with a little bit looser fits but you don't want to fully commit to oversized. And that is understandable because oversized clothing takes a bit of fine tuning and confidence before it looks right. Therefore going for a relaxed fit t-shirt is a nice compromise. Here I'm going to show you two different types of relaxed fit t-shirts. The first is from Weekday, again it has really lightweight material and is almost see-through in some lights. So in terms of sizing, the pit to pit gets a little bit wider when compared to the standard fit, but actually the length gets a little bit shorter, which is a bit of a surprise because I thought it would stay the same or get a little bit longer if anything. So actually the Weekday Relaxed Fit tee is a little bit boxier, which is quite nice. A key thing you're starting to see with relaxed tees is that the shoulder is starting to drop a little which is adding to that relaxed silhouette. Now the second t-shirt in this category is from H&M and it's something a little bit different. It's a relaxed fit again, but the fabric it's made from is something called Coolmax, which is a cotton polyester blend. This makes it similar to sportswear fabric because it's fast drying, which means it's perfect for the hotter days in spring and summer, and also if you're a little bit more active. Usually I stay away from polyester t-shirts because I don't like the way they feel or the way they fit me. But because this is a blend, it feels just like a normal t-shirt and fits quite nice. It's a surprisingly heavyweight t-shirt, it's a lot heavier than the weekday alternative, and it feels like a great quality t-shirt. The sizing is about the same as the weekday t-shirt except for the sleeves which are about one and a half inches longer. I think this subtle difference actually makes a big difference in how it looks on. It kind of looks more like an oversized t-shirt than just a relaxed t-shirt. So if you're looking to pick this up but you don't want it to look too oversized, you might want to size down one. 
Well, I think it's great to see these cuts in more technical fabric. It certainly gives a lot more versatility to what you can wear day to day. Okay, next up, we're getting into oversized territory, which is my favorite. So the weekday oversized tee is again the same fabric as the previous ones. So keep in mind, if you're picking it up in a white color, then it might be slightly see-through in certain lights. But you're starting to see everything get a little bit larger now. So the pit to pit is wider than the relaxed tee. The sleeves are a little bit longer and wider. And the body is also a little bit longer, which is something I'm actually a bit disappointed with. I find a lot of brands do this with their oversized clothing, where they not only increase the width, but they increase the length. What this is doing is just making the t-shirt bigger, but in the wrong ways. What you really want for oversized is for the t-shirt and sleeves to get a little bit wider, but for the length to stay the same. Therefore, you're getting that boxy silhouette. This is what looks really good and oversized at the moment. If the body gets too long as well, then it starts to just look a little bit unintentional and too big for you. However, I'm obviously being a bit biased towards my own height. If you're actually really tall, then the increase in length is gonna be a good thing for you. So I'd recommend this t-shirt if you're on the taller side, maybe 6'1", 6'2", or above. Okay, next up from weekday is the very intriguingly named great t-shirt. I couldn't resist picking up a t-shirt which describes itself as great. The description on the website is pretty vague and it just describes it as a slightly oversized t-shirt with dropped sleeves. This t-shirt also comes in two variations, just the regular great tee or the great neps tee. I didn't know what nep jersey was so I decided to pick one up. One of the downsides of a nep jersey is that it only comes in two colorways. I got the off-white. But if you're happy to pick up the great t-shirt in a regular fabric, then it comes in loads of different colorways. So I'll start off with that nep jersey fabric. And what it essentially reminds me of is like a French terry cotton that you sometimes get on the inside of hoodies. So it's a fabric with a lot of texture, almost like a towel, but it's also really soft and really warm. So it could be a perfect standalone piece if you just wanna wear a t-shirt out. In terms of sizing, it's actually very similar to their oversized t-shirt. So I'm not sure how they get away with calling it slightly oversized when it's pretty much the same as their own oversized t-shirt. The width on the body and the sleeve length are the same as the oversized t-shirt, but the length is actually even longer. So as I was talking about with the oversized t-shirt, this isn't ideal for me. Because it's getting longer, it just looks too big for me unless I tuck it in. Price-wise, the great t-shirt is also a lot more expensive than the other t-shirts on the weekday website. So unless you're really keen to get the Neps jersey, I'd probably pass on this one and just go for a normal oversized t-shirt. Okay, last up is another unique t-shirt which you might not have considered for the spring summer. This is the boxy mock neck t-shirt from Cos. I've raved about this t-shirt a lot in my previous videos and I seem to find a way to get it into almost every fit I do. But the reason for that is because for me, it's pretty much the perfect oversized t-shirt. So pit to pit and shoulder to hem are exactly the same measurements, which means this is a perfect boxy fit t-shirt you're getting that wide oversized look without it being too long on the body. The sleeves are also oversized. I think this really suits the look, but it might not be for everybody. Another key feature is the mock neck, which means the neck is nicely fitted and rides a little bit higher than a regular collar. If I had one complaint about all the previous t-shirts we've just looked at, it's that the collars are a little bit thin. Now, I don't think collars always need to be thick and tightly fitted, but it's nice to have that variation sometimes. The Cos t-shirt is also made of organic cotton, and you can really feel the difference. It's quite a heavy, luxurious feeling cotton, and it's really comfortable to wear. Of course, all these features and the fabric used does come at a cost, and this is the most expensive t-shirt in the lineup. But I think if you're feeling ready for something a little bit different this summer, then you should definitely look at picking one of these up. This t-shirt is actually from the women's section, and I looked there because I just couldn't find what I wanted at a good price point in the men's section. That's a little tip I always preach. Don't be limited to what section a piece of clothing is in. And so those are all the t-shirts I think you should consider for this spring and summer. If I was gonna pick three from this list, I'd probably go for the slim t-shirt, the cool max t-shirt, and the mock neck t-shirt. I think this will give you a great variation of sizes, cuts, and fits that you can mix and match with various outfits. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.